Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Natalie with Natalie's Closet and today I am going to be doing a product review. So I will see you in a sec. Welcome back everyone. As I said, this is Natalie with Natalie's Closet and today I am going to be doing a review on a new product I picked up and I will tell you about that in a few seconds or in a few minutes. Uh, but first I would like to welcome all of our new subscribers and of course welcome back everyone else. Thank you all so incredibly much for all of your support. I really do appreciate it and um, I, I hadn't posted any videos last week because I was sick and didn't have a voice. And so having posted my first video in a week yesterday really got me reignited into recording again and being excited about it. And I absolutely love all the comments you guys, um, uh, you know, commented on yesterday's video. I need to, of course, respond soon, but it's just really sparked excitement again so yay for that uh, but if you are new here i would love it if you'd consider hitting the red subscribe button down below as well as hitting the notification bell next to that make sure you set it to all so you're notified anytime i upload a video and of course if you wouldn't mind giving this video a thumbs up as well as commenting and sharing i would greatly greatly appreciate it which i know so many of you already do so thank you in advance for that um, and yeah, oh, for those of you that are new, my typical upload schedule is on Monday, Wednesdays, and lately Sundays for getting to know you. And then of course I always have a live on Tuesday nights at 9.30 PM Eastern. So I would love to see you there tomorrow night. And, um, yeah, I think that's it. Oh yeah. And every so often, especially with all the, um, regular, uh, um, channel creators that you follow, just periodically check to make sure you're still subscribed to them because a lot of people have been having different issues with um, either losing subscribers and, and and or viewers have been getting dropped from their regular, like they're no longer subscribed for whatever reason to certain uh, creators and then they find out they're not getting notifications and all that kind of stuff. So every so often, I know I do it because I've been unsubscribed from some people, so just... I think it's a good idea to every so often just go through, you know, the people that you know you're following to make sure you're still subscribed to them. And I'm sorry, I didn't, that if you want to do it, you want to do it. If you don't, you don't. I just figured I would throw that out there because I just, since yesterday, had like three different people happen to mention that they weren't getting notifications and then realized they were no longer subscribed to me. So they went ahead and resubscribed and that that has happened with other people. So I figured I'd throw that out there. Um, I am going to be recording two other videos today. They're not going up this week, but, um, well, one of them may, I'm just not sure when, but I did want to get this out there because I think it's a tool that could be very handy for a lot of us fiber arts creators. And I know a bunch of, us do other things like diamond painting or um just very sewing and other well that's a fiber art uh oh she hasn't spoken to you guys in a while but miley's saying hi to her peeps not really she's actually seeing a squirrel or a cat outside but i'm gonna say she's saying hi to you guys anyway um i'm glad that was a short-lived one and let's hope it doesn't continue <laughs> um but this is a great tool i do have it in my list of amazon affiliate links in the description box below i think it's the second one on the list uh under the doggy don't which i have for miley um if you guys want to check that out for as a really great um dog training tool feel free but anyway this i think is the second item on the list I think a lot of people would get a lot of use out of it, possibly if it's something they need. Um, as far as the affiliate links are concerned with Amazon, if you click on the link, you don't even need to get that particular item that you click on. And this goes for anybody's channel that has Amazon links. As long as when you click on that link, um, whether you buy that particular item or anything else within 24 hours of having open or clicked on it and opening that link, um, that channel creator will get credit for it. It doesn't cost you any more. So whether you went directly to Amazon or you clicked an Amazon affiliate link, it's the same price for you. But the creator or whoever it is that has the affiliate link will get a small percentage of your purchase at no cost to you. And it does help. It, I know it helps me out. Um, I it, And it's not like I always share with you, with you guys when I get paid. And it's been a couple months since I have been. But every penny counts so you know if you happen to like this 
and you follow my link, that would be awesome if you decide to purchase it. And if not, I totally understand. Um, I just wanted to throw that out there because it is down below. Uh, okay, so let's get on to it. This is an, it's called, okay, it says two hands can be used, like on whatever it is you're working on now, because if you're using this, but it's the eyeglasses bracket slash headband interchangeable magnifier with two LEDs. And it's, I guess, the upgraded version. Um, this is the box for it. It is very reasonably priced. Uh, as of today, when I checked it, it's $13.99. It has five different magnification levels. There are five different um, lenses, which these are the lenses right there. It takes three AAA batteries and it's got an LED light, which is very nice and bright, but not like too bright. And it's actually very comfortable. Uh, it's not any less, it's, I don't notice them any more than I notice my regular glasses. Uh, when you do, now, when I put the, he, the the heaviest magnification lens in there, it was a little bit heavier because it's a bit thicker, but it still wasn't uncomfortable. I will take it out of the box and I will show it to you, but this was great. The reason why I decided to get this is because, um, I don't know if you're, let me, wait, let me make sure this is in English. It is. I don't know if you guys want to take a screenshot, so I'll show you some of the, uh, I'm trying to make sure there's not too much of a glare. Um, but yeah, that's the side that's, wait a minute. Is this the side? Oh, okay. Both sides are actually in English. So that's awesome. Um, I can't, this one has a sticker on the side, so I'm not, I don't know that I, you're not going to really be able to get much, but it shows that it's good for, um, uh, sewed clothes, painting, mechanical repairs, like if you're doing, you know, really tiny stuff and you need extra magnification. This side, it says handicraft, preparation of flowers, and book uh, book reading. Well, it says books reading, but um, anyway, so it does take uh, three AAA batteries. Uh, well, the reason I got this was because I was actually um, trying to find something that it, an awesome enabler that I follow uh, shared, and that's Chevis with Chevy Rell stuff. Um, and I, so I went back to one of her videos and she always has everything linked in the description boxes of her videos. So I had gone into a couple to try to find something else and um, landed up on a video I hadn't seen. It's an older one of hers and it was playing and I was looking through the thing and then I saw this and I was like, hmm. So I went, you know, I, I let the video play out so that I could get to the point that she was showing this and I was like, oh my gosh, this is so awesome. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and get it because I was gonna be working with some dark yarn. Now it's blanket yarn, so really I don't, it's, it's not really that difficult with thicker, I, at least for me to be able to see where, where I'm going. But um, I was like, you know what, this may not be a bad thing. So I went ahead and I got it because there are some times where I could really not only use the light that I have for my neck light, but also use some magnification, especially when I've used um, dark yarns in fingering weight, which is my favorite weight of yarn. So when I got it, yesterday I went ahead and I set it up, I put the batteries in, and um, when I was using it on the Bernat Blanket yarn, I was having to bring it up pretty close, which is fine, no big deal, uh, but, and it, it definitely helped, but I realized I really don't need the help on that particular yarn. So I went ahead and I, I grabbed something that had really small print and I was testing the different magnification levels and seriously, they all work really well. And I love the light. Now you could turn the light off if you don't want the light or don't need it, um, or you can turn it on and you can move where the light is. You can move where the lens is. It's really, really a great tool. And it really helped with smaller print. And, you know, depending on how, you know, you could, obviously we're all going to be different. So it, you, you may need to pull it up closer or further or whatever, but it, it, it was really a great, great tool. And I, and I was doing it at night because I wanted to see just how bright the light was and how much it helped. And it was awesome. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take off my glasses because I can't really wear it with my glasses, but um, this is how it comes in the box. Yes, I put everything back the way I got it so that I don't lose things. Um, this, I'm pretty sure, is the strap so that you can wear it so that it doesn't, you know, you can maybe hang it off your neck if you need to take them off for a second. I haven't attached these at all. Um, sorry, I have something in my tooth. This is how the five lenses come. 
and they're all in there nice and and you know securely this is the smallest one which is the thinnest um glass or uh, piece and then as as it gets thick or you know higher magnification the lenses get a bit thicker um and this is what they look like <laughs> that was kind of funny my <laughs> <laughs> on my end it was kind of weird seeing it through the glass or through the magnification but anyway it comes with one cleaning cloth so that you can clean the lenses without like scratching it or whatever and then these are this is it and it does once the batteries are in it does feel heavier obviously it's going to be this is where the the batteries are in here um, it will, it does feel a bit heavier, but when it's on, it really isn't bad. That's where the batteries are. There's three AAA batteries. And you just go ahead and wear them like you would. Uh oh, I've got my headband on. That just kind of messed up my headband. But you just wear it like that. And very seriously, it's not uncomfortable or heavy or, or, you know, and I had it, I kept it on for a good, at least half hour just to see if it was just going to get, you know, tiresome or whatever. Honestly, it, it doesn't. Um, I know I look kind of funny with it, but I love it. I mean, it's a really nice um, nose piece for, and it's very comfortable. This moves up in different, you know, levels. That's what the, the, I'll put the lens on in a second, but the lens is, hangs right here. So you can have it at different levels depending on if you're looking straight, if you're looking down, you can have it where you need it. The little light turns on right there. Okay, I'm gonna move that down so it's not so in your face. But this is the light switch right there and it's really very pretty bright. I mean, you can see against my hand how bright it is. And it's really, really a great little tool. Now I'll go ahead and put, I'll, I'll go ahead and put, I'm gonna put the, um, the lightest magnification on but you just pull it out and uh oh there's something on there i should probably use the cloth but of course i'm not going to there's a slight um curve to it i don't know if you can see the curve or not but there's a slight curve to it so you put the like if it's curving like this way you want that to be on the outside so then you just kind of Ouch. Okay, that was a bad example. That I didn't even have that happen yesterday. Not quite sure. Of course, it's because I'm on camera. There we go. You just go ahead and you heard it clip on, right? And then all you do is you just pull it out. You just hold this a little bit and you pull it out. So you just kind of clip it on. And there is your whoopsie magnification glass. <laughs> I feel like I look like a scientist or something. I tried to put this over my regular glasses, um, but it, it did it did sit on my face, but not necessarily properly. So then, like I said, you just move this little piece. This is now touching my nose, so I don't necessarily need it there. But you just, it's got a couple different settings that you could put it on. So if you don't need it for a minute, you could pull it all the way up. And then you could bring it down and then like for me right here is about where it actually like is right here is where it's the clearest and in this particular case it's not magnifying it a lot because let's see I forget what the levels are um, there's the one time the 1.5 time the two time the 2.5 time and the 3.5 time magnification and there is on the lens itself wow i gotta move this up because it's messing with me on the lens itself right here you're not going to probably be able to see it but right on this edge it says 1.5 i don't think i'm going to be able to get it to show but it does show you what level magnification it is i mean if you keep them in here and you keep them in order you shouldn't really have an issue with you know grabbing the wrong one but you can check it that way oh in this light I can actually just looking at it it's on this edge I'm able to see the numbers pretty clearly last night in the dark um which of course my 
stupidness. I didn't actually turn on the light. Had I turned on the light, I probably would have been able to see it better. But um, it really is nice. And then, of course, when you turn on the light, which I'm trying to not do in your face it really does help and like i said when you're when you're working with you know a darker yarn you're needing to see the stitches it really does help with the magnification i'm sure if you're using if you're diamond painting it would really help um depending on again what magnification you need and how close you would need to be to it because you also want to be kind of comfortable when you're diamond painting but when you're sewing or if you're needing to read something that's tiny print you know you get the right one with a light I, I mean there's so many so many things you can use this for and i just wanted to share it with you because it really really it really really is something i plan to use as much as i can um, and I love the way that it fits into this box and it's easy to just keep it in here and, um, keep it stored this way. I mean, it's a perfect little handy dandy box that way. I mean, although even if you had this sitting somewhere, you've got your magnification lenses in, in its own container, so they shouldn't get scratched up. Um, and I did notice my headband is out, like all messed up. I'm going to have to fix it in a second i can't see it well enough though um i did notice because i did smudge it or i think i think i hit it against my nose or something and it did clean off or wipe off really easily so i hope this is something that can help a bunch of you because like i said i know a lot of people diamond paint i know many of you sew um and or embroider or do cross stitching and you know, I mean, with cross stitching, the canvases, you know, are pretty, pretty, you know, tiny, the little, little, you know, um, what, what would you call them? not the stitches, but the actual canvas itself are pretty tightly, you know, um, the little dots that you're actually sewing or, you know, um, cross stitching through are really tiny. And this could really help if you do have an issue with either your eyesight or you're doing it in the dark. Um, I also heard that this is great to use in the car, you know, as crocheters when we're traveling or whatever, uh, as passengers, not as drivers, of course. So be safe. Don't drive and crochet or knit. But as a passenger, um, sometimes, you know, if when it's dark, you may want to still work on your project, but you're not going to turn on the inside car light because that's going to interfere with the driver. Yes, we do have neck lights, which also work but this actually is much more pinpointed at least from my what I was able to see versus the neck light and I noticed that it's it's not you see it more directly where you're working versus it lighting up more of an area I haven't tried it in the car so I can't say whether or not it would interfere the driver but from what I heard from a couple of people that have used this um, while driving said it really didn't interfere with the driver uh, well when they asked at least they were told that it didn't interfere so I mean this is really a great tool so I wanted to definitely share this with you it definitely gets two thumbs up from me um, and like I said, it is in my description box. I will also link it in the um, top pin comment so that you have easier access to it if you don't want to have to scroll through all the millions of things that I have in the description box. But um, again, it would cost you nothing extra if you shop through my link. And if you prefer not doing it that way, that's fine also. I Whatever, it's. I just want to give you that as an option. Um, and again, it was $13.99 as of today, and I believe that's what I paid for it also. Uh, so I think it's a great price for a really useful tool. So I would love to hear what you guys have to say about it. Have you tried, have you purchased this? Has it worked for you? Did it not do what you really wanted it to do? Did it do everything you wanted it to do? Um, is this something you might consider, you know, is this something you may have been looking for? And, you know, do you think you're going to pick it up? Um, I just would love to hear anything you guys have to say. Now, there is also a desktop version that actually sits like on a desktop and it's got the magnifying glass kind of on top that can also be detached and you can hand hold the magnifying glass and it also has an LED light. 
Uh, that is an option when you pull this up. It shows this as the $13.99 option, and I think the desktop one is like $18.99. If I'm not mistaken, please don't quote me. But um, that is also an option if you're needing something that's not necessarily that, you know, if you're needing just a handheld something or for maybe bigger projects or something like that. So again, I'd love to hear what you have to say. I just wanted to share this with you because I thought it was a really great tool and I'm really excited to see what other ways I can use it with, you know, different, you know, whatever the case is. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And for those of you that have been commenting and entering um, last week's subscriber of the week in yesterday's getting to know you video, I will let you know this is like a highball glass but it does have watermelon on it because that's what a lot of people were asking. And it is a tea light candle in there that is watermelon scented. Um, it's, it's a watermelon scented candle from her tea lights from Yankee Candle when I used to work there. So it's probably like 10 years old. So it's not like you really smell a lot of it, but you all know I love watermelon. So it's watermelon scented candle and a watermelon highball glass that I'm using as a tea light cup or tea light holder. But so many of you got it right. That is what was new for last week or new on the scape for last week's subscriber of the week when, or yeah, entry. <laughs> anyway, um, thank you all so much for all of your support. I hope, like I said, you enjoyed this video and, um, I will see you guys tomorrow night, Tuesday, 9 30 PM Eastern on my live. Miley says hi and bye to her peeps. She's been a good girl the rest of this video. So that's awesome. Uh, remember, for every season, there's a reason to crochet. Love, hugs, and prayers to everybody. Extra prayers for those who need it. And remember, if you need extra prayers but don't want to share it publicly, feel free to email me at natalies.closet at yahoo.com, and we will add you to our prayer list. And um, I know I do this every time. I think I got everything. I think. <laughs> all right. Um, I won't keep you any longer. This got a little bit longer than I anticipated, but of course, I get all chatty and and now my throat is getting all dry, so I need to go and take care of that. So have a great day. I'll see you guys tomorrow night. And if not, you'll see my next small online business video on Wednesday. And I'm featuring two businesses this week because I have to be for, not I have to, but I really want to because I need to get into these two boxes. <laughs> and they're kind of like time, not time sensitive, but anyway, you'll, you'll hear on Wednesday. So I'll talk to you guys later. I love you guys. Bye.